Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wanda and I am definitely crazy for candles. Um, happy Friday to everyone. How's everybody doing? I'm having a great day so far. Thanks for asking. I feel very accomplished. Um, as we all know, well, most of us hopefully know from if they watch my videos, you know I've been selling antiques and or collectible china on Poshmark and Macari. I've been selling these antiques for like good 40 years and it's time to hang up the hat for that. And I finally got everything condensed down to one cabinet. One. And so it's down to the nitty gritty and I've actually, you know, um, peppered in a few um, candles and here and there because I don't need six of one anymore. You know, it's time that Mr. Drama King and I downsize. I've, I've said that before for retirement. But, you know, I'll leave the, um, in case anybody's interested in looking to see what is left, I will leave my little call tags or whatever you want to call for my shops and on Poshmark and Macari. But we have a post-burn candle review for everybody today. I have three. I would have had four. But this one um, from Homeworks, and this will be in the next video, I'm burning down to the absolute gills because it's so enjoyable. Even though at the end it's been a little problematic, I wanted to finish out the day in the home office with that fragrance. So there's definitely three. We have two from Goose Creek Candle Company and one from Bath and Body Works. So let's get into this, shall we? The first one is from Bath and Body Works, and that is positively sweet came out <clears throat> for I think not this past Valentine's Day but the Valentine's Day before yeah three wicks still smells nice you know I had no problems you know it nice clean burn I don't think the wicks moved and it was a creamy you know creamy white wax and the scent notes on this is Rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, candy, cherry with natural essential oils. Again, I'll show you the inside. What this smell to me is like chocolate covered cherry cordials. Not just like the chocolate covered cherries, but the cherry cordials. They had that little bit of an alcohol note to it. They gave it a little bit of oomph. <clears throat> or either that or the um, cellos cellos or whatever you know the liquid chocolate covered cherries the cherry note was very prevalent in this more so than the chocolate i i that's just in my opinion very very nice fragrance it actually when i had it in my home office it filled the home office you could smell it in the kitchen it overwhelmed my bedroom which is slightly smaller than um my home office well it's just configured differently when I put it in the living room, I would have gave this a good six, six and a half, because it is an open, open concept area between the living room and the kitchen. But <clears throat> I did get like that heavy cordial, the cherry cordial. No, not a candy cherry, but cherry cordial. So with that being said, would I repurchase this again? No. I had a backup of it and I sold it because it was just not one that I really kind of wanted to have my, you know, my wheelhouse. I didn't want to do another one. And so that's what I'm selling. If I had, you know, backups of one, I decided, eh, I really didn't like it. Yeah. Make room for either more or pay off the card that it went. Yeah, that's another story. So the second candle that we have today is from Goose Creek Candle Company. And it is Strawberry Cheesecake Cupcake. This is not this year's packaging. It's the year before. <clears throat> I did not get this year's packaging. And this is what it looks like. A little bit of a little bit of sooting. Not bad. Um, a little bit of cat hair in it. You know, I have the two long hair cats. So, cat hair is always flying here, there, and everywhere. But that's what it looked like. But there was no, like, soot to the glass it just basically went into the wax so it's probably more cat hair than anything now the scent notes on this is pink strawberry cheesecake vanilla bean and sugar 
This thing was wicked strong. When it was in the home office, um, it overpowered the home office, so I didn't even bother putting it in the bedroom. When I put this in the living room, it filled up the living room, filled up the kitchen, and actually went down the hall. It was very, very strong. It wasn't a sweet um, strawberry either. It, to me, it was a tart strawberry. And that cheesecake note really was the most prevalent note to the candle. I wish it had a little bit more of the vanilla bean and the sugar to sweeten it up because it's kind of on the idea of a tartar um, cheesecake. We all know cheesecake is not itself isn't overly sweet. It's just a, a nice balanced dessert. It's the toppings that actually make it sweet, but the strawberry was actually a little tart. So to me, this, like I said, was a tartar strawberry and most prevalent on the cheesecake. This thing was a definite eight and a half, maybe a nine on my scale. Super strong. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, had no problems, but like a little bit of that, which isn't bad for a ghost creek candle. So, would I repurchase this again? Nah. It just, yeah. I'm more into a bakery. I'm more into, like, the cookies, uh, the waffles, the nuts, things like that. And the last one today is also from Goose Creek Can Candle Company. And that's ooey gooey butter cake. I was so excited when this came out, like a new fragrance or, you know, <clears throat> and I go at it. And I did a current burn review, like one of my exciting, riveting episodes of As the Candle Burns. And I, it was a nice smell. It was just light. I mean, I could have amped this up. If they amped this up, this thing would have been a winner. I'm telling you. And then some. Because it was a nice candle. Now, we had did have some issues. Yeah. I don't know what the heck that is. I think all the junk just pulled. It just colored. I didn't have any problems with the wick studding out or pulling of the wax. It's just horrible, icky, icky, disgusting wax. That is just, just definitely gross. Um, the said notes on this is warm vanilla, butter, sugar, coconut. And you know I love coconut, ladies and gentlemen. And caramel. When I said, when I did this lit up in the home office... I gave it a six, I think, then. And it was a nice fragrance, only a wicked light. Um, so I didn't even try this in the bedroom, because if it was that light in the home office, it was definitely going to get, you know, um, there would be no scent whatsoever in that open concept living room. So I put it in my bedroom. I um, let this... Not last night, but the night before, I figured I'd do one last burn. <clears throat> and if I put my arm out, and I've said this before, that's where the candle is from, like, my bed, and I'm watching, catching up on my good doctor. I like that show. And um, I could smell it, and it was, you know, is a warm, rich, decadent butter cake. You didn't get so much of the butter note. Because I think that added to the depth of the cake. But you did get a little bit of the caramel. You got vanilla. Maybe a little coconut. But it was just a nice, warm, decadent, rich, gourmand fragrance. In the bedroom, it went down to a five. If that, maybe a four. You could smell it. Little, like, little whiffs of it. It was nothing on a steady thing. But you, oh, I smell it. And then... No, and then, ooh, I smell it. So it kind of actually got lost in there. If this was stronger, again, ladies and gentlemen, this definitely would have been a winner. But with that being said, would I repurchase this? No. So there you have it for the post burn candle review. I'm sorry I came up short. I usually try to do four. But like I said, I'm trying to just... I probably have another hour of work here in the home office for today. So, you know, mm, I'm going to finish burning that candle and enjoying her as long as I can. And that will be in the next um, review. I have not ordered from Bath and Body Works. I haven't ordered from Goose Creek. I really, I didn't. Um, I did have an order in my cart and um, it did come. 
and there's a lot of broken glass. I could, I could eat the um, UPS driver said it was broke. A lot of it was broke. So it just said, said return to sender. And um, I'm not going to order from them for a bit. I'm just taking a break. I want to get down some of this collection that I have, which is pretty extensive. And um, I do have a couple Homeworks candles to share with you probably tomorrow. I get to open the crate. Um, it isn't from this new batch. It was from when they had a bunch of them. They were like $16.99. Older fragrances, whatever. But it was something that I wanted to at least try. I have an order from Kringle. Oh, <gasps> Did I? No, I did. I got wax melt. Uh, all right. We, we'll do wax melts and then we'll do the Kringle. So I have a couple little tiny hauls. I think right now... I am going to lean more towards um, wax melts when the temperature gets warmer to open the windows because that way I can have different fragrances going on in the rooms. And I don't have to worry about having a lit candle and having one of my cats light their tail on fire. Yes, that almost happened one time. Yeah, my cat, one, we all know Luna the gray and white cat she's got a long long tail she went by you know the tail's going she's all happy smelt smoke yeah <laughs> not good and the candle was really away from her i don't know how the heck she did them you know but i sit there with the candle with me so yeah so we'll stick with the wax melt so i do have a couple videos to share with you like i said probably over the weekend we'll get to them when i can but Thank you for staying with me um, and listening. And please like and subscribe. I'll see everybody in the next video. So there definitely will be at least one this weekend. So have a great rest of your day and a great study of your weekend.